Hi, this is me, Ron McTuber, playing The Hunter on PC, and today we're taking a look at the brand new reverse draw crossbow. Here it is. This has just been released today. It's all black. The drawstrings are all green. There is no scope for this crossbow, so that might hamper range. Just showing you in third person right now, there's the sights. It's very nice looking, different from the other crossbow. We're going to see how it performs on the range in a minute. When you get a new bow or crossbow, you should always go on a range and just try it out, just so you can get uh, the distances right, the drop right, before you go out hunting, so you don't miss every shot. Alright, let's go over to the firing range, test it out on some dummies. It is very useful for getting the ranges. Often I start with the closest and work my way out. So from 15 to about 60 meters, because realistically in the game, uh, they're the distances, you're going to be shooting a bow or a crossbow. You can make longer shots, I have made longer shots, but most hunts you aren't shooting silly ranges it's normally 50 meters to about 60 meters so that's the ranges I mainly practice so here we are all right so let's start off with a close range I've got the range finder out just to make sure the white tail there the bear and maybe that white tail and move out so let's try the first shot I go by eye when I'm shooting I've got the first notch just there. All right, let's uh, just see where that goes. I'm an instinctive shooter, so I like to shoot, find out roughly where it is, and then work from there. Some people do it the other way, work off the pins and do it exact, exact. I'll do it by eyesight and coordination, what works for me. So these are quite close in at the minute. First pin just slightly down, just in between the armpit and just behind the front leg. So start working to go out a bit further. So it's still on the first pin. Try to smooth. So yeah, that's all fine up to you. But they are close shots, so we'll start to see a bit of difference as we move out further. The bear's 32 meters. On a snake bite, that's about dead on level. So we'll try it with this new reverse and just see what that's like. I think that went a little high, so we might need to adjust that. So as we're pointing out, this range is very useful for bows. So I recommend you come in first. It is a little bit high before going out hunting. So I'm just going to drop the bow down a little bit. Yeah, that's about right. Aim for that nice pocket just behind the front leg. The last thing you want to do is go out with a new bow. And it is going to be sod's law that the first animal you see with it is going to be a, <laughs> a big a big deer. And you end up bodying it or missing it completely. And you'll be gutted, so... Alright, there's a moose just behind it. I might have a crack at that one next. And then after that we'll go for a, a third one about 60. And see how that goes. I think that looked good. We'll just check it with the binos. quite hard to see without tracer arrows. The bow does take normal crossbow arrows and tracer arrows. Right, there's the moose I was on about, about 60 meters, which is ideally about the max you should shoot often quite accurately. I wouldn't go for no further than that. You can shoot it, but I tried the second one down this time for this. It looked like it hit it. 
I'm not sure if it was a bit high, but I think we'll have to go over and check this one because it'll be hard to see with binoculars. So it has hit it, but I think it's not ideal positioning. So we'll go over and have a look, just see how much we need to drop it down. That's on the second line. So that's about 60 meters. Yeah, look, if you look, it's a little low. That probably would, in this game, probably give you a lung or a vital hit. Yeah, look, it's only a little low, but that probably would give you a hit. What you'd need to knock it down. But it's not ideal, so we want to know what's ideal. So we're going to go back, I'll have one more shot at it, and then we'll go and hunt for real in the game for some animals, uh, whatever we come across. Right, we've made an adjustment. We're aiming just after um, the middle now, because it was a little low, so that's 60 meters. I think we'll have to go over and have a look because obviously we can't really see the arrow from here. At the minute, I've got a competition running. Uh, you can win some games. I started doing this um, a few weeks ago, giving away gifts and items in competitions. And this one is for the smallest mule deer. So if you want to know about that, check the Hunter Forums in competitions pages. Anyone's welcome to uh, join in. So that was a perfect shot. Just what we wanted. So we know roughly now from 15 to 60 meters. Right, I've spotted a moose and this is ideal why you get a crossbow. If you can see, you can't do this with bows. You can lie down and move with it. And you can also shoot on the floor. So sometimes this can be very useful if you're sneaking up on animals. So I've got a moose very close here. I'm just gonna see how close I can get and then shoot it. So moose down. It got very close indeed, but that just highlights one of the reasons why you get a crossbow. So you can get that extra probably five meters um, than you would from crouching by staying prone. And only the crossbow can do that. He's not a very big moose, but it's just to highlight why you would buy a crossbow. That went straight through it. Heart, lungs, everything. There's my first achievement. So we'll take a trophy shot. I'm going to get in the sun first. As I explained on my last video, if you want to know how to take a good trophy shot, one of the key aspects is finding the position of the sun. So you get more light and it looks better. So it's best to do a 360 until you see the sun shining on the front of you. So that's ideal. Keep him there. We'll take his trophy shot and then I think I'll try and get maybe a bear or a white tail or a black tail. See what we come across. Right, who's next? So I found a white tail male. He's not a particularly big one, just like a 120 to 140 average male. We'll get the range finder out, see how far away he is. It's about 30 meters, so ideally that's the first notch. Or just slightly below. I'm going to try and get a lung or a vital shot from the side, just after the front leg. So here we go. Perfect. All right. So that's been our first look at the reverse draw crossbow. I think it's a quite nice bow or crossbow, I should say. Don't know if it's as powerful as the other crossbow though. Um, and it would have been nice to have a scope you never know fingers crossed in the future they might add one here's the white tail we'll click that take a trophy shot I'm Ron McTube I'm playing the hunter on PC please subscribe to my YouTube channels hope you enjoyed the video and keep an eye out for brand new content from me regular thanks for watching